I just showered. As you can see, my hair is still wet. Um, but I'm gonna go through the products that I use in the shower real quick. So first off, the shampoo that I use, I, I use a lot of Olaplex. So as you can tell, my hair is very damaged. Very, very damaged. So um, I use Olaplex shampoo number four. Boom, boom, boom. Um, and it's Bond Maintenance Shampoo. Repairs, strengthens, and nourishes all hair types. A lot of other shampoos that I've tried that are like repairing kind of leave like a film in my hair or I, I, it's like when you feel like you haven't gotten it all out. So this one does a really, really good job of getting my hair clean but not feel like a lot of product in it. Then I use a number five Olaplex on maintenance conditioner, repairs, strengthens, and nourishes. Same thing, little set, boom. These are my two. Then once, about like once a week, I put this uh, Shea Moisture 100% Pure Argan Oil. Um, I put it in my hair, then I put my hair up, sleep, wash it out in the morning, just so my hair can get a little bit um, extra moisture. So that's the oil that I use. Don't, I don't use it for good because like my hair will get greasy. Finally, what I use like, yeah, this is weekly. Sometimes I do it like twice a week. This is Olaplex number eight. Boom, boom, boom. Focus on that, please. Boop, boop, boop. Um, and it's a Bond Intense Moisture Mask. So I put this on, I do a lot of pumps, um, but this just moisturizes, smooths, adds body and shine. So I use that and then um, I just kind of run it through, leave it for 10 minutes and then wash it out. I use a microfiber towel it's pink, it's really cute, but it has makeup on it, so I don't want to show you. Um, but microfiber towel to put my hair up afterwards. And then here we are. Next step time. I'm also gonna brush my hair out for you guys. The one thing about my hair is it does not dry. You have to dry it for a very long time. I will show you a time lapse um, of me drying it. It takes forever. Um, but I want to brush through. I use a little, okay, don't look at my brush because there's hair in it. Totally same brush here. I like woolly brushes, but I also like like paddle brushes. Um, I feel like they get my tangles out better. Also guys, I'm dyeing my hair soon. I know the grow out is bad. I haven't gone to Oregon in a while. And I, I get my hair done in Oregon because my plane ticket there, my plane ticket to Oregon and back, Plus, getting my hair done still costs less than getting it done here in Los Angeles. So I get to see my family and save money. <laughs> One thing about my hair is that I have something called trichotillomania, where I have compulsions to rip out my hair. So um, when I was in college, I had a giant bald spot right here. Um, and I still pull my hair to this day, not to that extent, but you'll see like frizziness and dead ends. I, I pull the dead ends, I rip the follicle out. So my hair is very damaged. Um, a lot of it, not only from dyeing it and putting heat on it, but from that as well. So if you see my hair being funky, especially in the back from where I pull, just know it's just bad. People are like, oh, your hair looks so nice and healthy. I'm like, I think you're seeing it with like my webcam, which kind of like filters out the detail, you know? It's like when the same people, when people are like, oh, your skin's so nice. I'm like, I, I think you're not seeing it. Okay, <laughs> I'm sitting on my floor. My bathroom officially does not have any room for my camera to film me doing this. So I'm on the floor with a mirror. Um, I'm gonna show you guys like a sped up version <laughs> of how I dry my hair. Um, I use the Dyson. Uh, I love it. I use a couple different brushes on it, actually, most of them. I use this one to get my flat, like the frizziness down. This one for just an overall dry. It's not on, but yeah, an overall dry. I use the Rolly brush, which I really, really like to give it a little bit of volume. <laughs> and then finally, I use the curlers sometimes. Um, I'm gonna show you how I do my curls with the Dyson though for this one. Okay, this is the drying section is going to be very sped up. Um, first though, I take the top layer like that, and what I do, if I could find it, I put it all up into a funny little clip. 
so it's out of the way. This should be my daily, I think. I'm gonna dry so you can watch and wish me luck. So it's like 80% dry. I'm gonna put this behind, go up here, <laughs> take out my funny looking boom, and then I'm gonna clip the part that I dried behind. Does it look good? Okay, okay. I'm going to part my hair. I like the center part. Straighten that out, but now we're gonna do the same thing 80% on the top. I'm going to use this brush so the top lays somewhat flat, and then I'll go in with the rolly brush. Now what I'm gonna do is again, just take like a, the paddle brush through the whole thing, brush it out. It's not completely dry, but now what we're gonna do is take the curlies, and as you see, they have arrows on them showing you which way to go. I like to ignore those. I like to mix it up on both sides. So I'll do some facing one way, some facing the other, so they don't all curl together. So again, half up, half down, as we do, but like less this time. I'm not gonna do as much hair back on the top. <laughs> wow, okay. So when I say you're gonna hold and then cool it, on here, there's a, a cool button. You hold that up to set the curl. So you do heat for like however long you feel comfortable, then set it with the cool air. This is the look, so when people went to homecoming, and by people I mean me, we did our curls like this, and then you don't brush them out and you just leave it. Isn't it such a good look? That's my regret, is never brushing out my curls. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch. I'll do one more. Okay, boom. Okay, so that's kind of what we got going right now. We're gonna switch over to the other one, boom. Um, also, I'd like to say that Dyson does have longer barrels, which I wish that I am going to get. I wish that I, <laughs> I wish that I got in the beginning and I want to get them. Um, it's just too short for, I think my hair's too long to use the short one, so I gotta like kind of layer up sometimes. So I want these to curl inwards instead of out. Boom. See that? Another little spiral. Boom. So now we're gonna go crazy, run a brush through it like once. See the fluff? I don't know if you guys can see how fluffy it is. Very, very bouncy and fluffy. Do the same thing on the other side. Behind the hair, behind the, behind the back. Same thing, and go. And wrong one, go. I know there's like, better ways to do this. This is just the way that my body has like trained. There are easier ways to do these curls and how to hold them in which direction. There are plenty of amazing tutorials. I'm just showing you how I do it. I don't necessarily do it the right way, you know? That one's a little bit ugly, but that's okay. We'll fix it. And th the thing is like, they don't have to be perfect because I just want it to be like bouncy and you know, fun. Like, it's just a little, especially because the top is gonna be the like more important part. So like, you know what? <laughs> Just do whatever your heart says, okay? Hi guys! Oop. And let's get one last one 
in here, there's a lot of straight pieces. Gather them up. There it goes. I was like, hello? It didn't fit. This is what our bottom layer looks like. Bouncy, fun, moves around. We're gonna take this clip out. Take this clip out. I'm gonna clip everything that we just dried. Split, split. <laughs> Look like Lord Farquaad. What the hell? Okay. Um. I got the wrong one again. Don't trust me, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making it up as I go along, to be honest. Fingers through. So now you can do like touch up. So like I wanna fix right here the front so it matches more on the other side. Um. Okay, so this is somewhat of the end product. As you can see, it's very fluffy, bouncy, kind of like 70s look. I have different ways that I curl my hair. I'll show you guys more in the future. But this is kind of just the end look, as you can see. A little bit of that, a little bit of volume. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching this tutorial. Drop below if you want more, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon, okay? Bye!